doing today? <laughs> oh my god, we're never recording at night again. I know, right? Oh my god, thank god there's like no alcohol or weed involved. Could you imagine? And decaf coffee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> could you imagine if you had caffeinated? <laughs> okay, wait. You really didn't hit record? Yeah, it's funny. Right? <laughs> I'm re we're recording now, though. <laughs> so I think we should just start like this and leave it in. <laughs> yes, everyone. Go ahead. I don't care. It I'm is, good with it. Yeah. Start it in. Uh, start it in. Hello. It's my fault. I forgot, <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot to hit record, but we're recording now. <laughs> and so that's why you're hearing all of this un uncontrolled laughter in the background because these two ladies, you know, are just going so... I will be the one to say, uh, welcome to Coffee and Chaos. <laughs> Where's the Ola? I don't know what. Oh, wait. Ola. Ola. <laughs> welcome to Coffee Ola. and Chaos. Ola. Sorry, Dorna. <laughs> because they can't speak right now, obviously. She can't stop laughing. Oh, my God. And she's just feeding right into it. <laughs> and this is on decaf coffee because unlike any other time, yeah. we're recording at night. So, and I love my decaf coffee at night. But imagine if it was caffeinated, like... I saw, I think it was a commercial, and this lady was like, what is decaf coffee for? And the lady was like, oh, so it doesn't give you the jitters. She's like, just don't drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but it goes back to, I have to have, like, that coffee taste at night. And yeah. It's been more so the last few years. But I think it's also because I worked nights for a long mm -hmm. time, and me and my partner would be like, who's going to 7-Eleven? Grab the coffee, like, because mm -hmm. we'd work you know, to three o'clock in the morning. And then even at night when my grandparents went to bed, we saw them have coffee. So it's just, I have to have coffee. Yeah. But any caffeine after like three or four, mm -hmm. I'm not going to bed. So I have to have decaf. Yeah, <laughs> it seems to have some adverse effects on you though, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we had- She's to, just like me. It's so funny. We had the whole thing going and we, we were so like, much Hola, energy. welcome to Coffee and Chaos and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then- oops. It was all cute too. It was funny cute. Oh, it was the most perfect opening <laughs> it ever, was. right? <laughs> and then Solomon says, you want to hear something funny? <laughs> I wasn't recording. <laughs> and there was, was the whole recording. session of- Boo. Of, uh, oh, I thought you were say boobs. <laughs> Oh my God, there was, now there you was have that. drawn attention even too. more. Well, that's, well, you said there was a whole other part about that, and I thought that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get serious. Wait, I can't. The fact that I'm not wearing white again. Oh, no. And the fact that you're in my chair and I've, <laughs> I'm like jealous. It like, would have been worse if I would have been over there. But why is been, like, why right is, in the camera. But why is there a difference of chairs? Like, I could feel it now because I'm trying to look at him, look up there, look at you. I told like, well, you. I will tell you this. Most people don't look at me when they do their podcast. They just usually look at the yeah. person that they're Okay, let's not look with. at Solomon and see how that so, works out. It's really um, hard. I know. But since you've made me a part of your podcast. Well, you I, are. You know, it, if I didn't why. have you on, people would be like, what happened to Solomon? Yeah, why didn't he? Where is he? Because I don't think people like my opinion on anything because I'm so goofy. And you speak truth. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, it's just interesting you use the word goofy, though. Well, because, I don't really see you as goofy. But because I don't. I just see you as uh, your opinion is very much based on your life experience. Mm -hmm. But there's which a is, but there's which a lot in a way of me. Is a little narrow sometimes. You know, <gasps> that's all. You're a little narrow. <sighs> sometimes. Okay, give me one thing I'm narrow on. Because well, this is what our topic's going to be about, anyways. Right, We're going to talk about Let me what's. Roll the... my eyes. Oh, yeah. ooh, uh uh next last person Cue I rolled the eyes at me punched the throat. Ooh, you gotta move that mic. <laughs> throat oh, punch. I do. That went dark. <laughs> no, no. All of a sudden, throat punch came. He in. rolled his eyes. Well, you said give you an example, right? Yeah. So, well, I mean, the the first example for me was last week when you said, "Oh, you don't have a list. You're married." <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get went, into that. Uh, How? But, what do you mean? I don't the, have a list. Mm -hmm. But the topic was. Do you have a check mark, a, wait, boxes, checklist of what you're looking for in a partner? Homie, you have your partner. Why do you have a box? So what, I throw, did I throw the list away? Well, okay, <laughs> and I said, for me, not being married or really never mm -hmm. living with somebody, I don't understand your your side, which you are right. right. I am narrow in that. So did narrow minded. It, did, did it give you a better understanding when I told you what my list was? Did you feel like you had a better understanding? Oh, it totally that? did. It yeah. totally did. I list felt of what you want in a relationship? In a partner in a relationship. In the current partner in relationship. Well, in a partner in a relationship. I mean. <laughs> she's trying to add words. Yeah. She's trying to like put me back in a box again. It's like, no. 
You're asking you are man what he wants to, whether he has that woman or doesn't have that <laughs> I woman. I am not still have controlling. A list. Okay. But I guess, again, because I am so not, like, mm-hmm. you've lived with Brian for how long? A long time. Okay. I don't Too even long. know. And he's been with her. So for me, I I speak solely from the mind, of, which is not always good. I've said that from a single woman's point of view. Yeah, like, right. And you're right. I think because I'm so old fashioned, mm-hmm. I do have it in my head. You get married, you don't look at anybody else, you don't talk to anybody else. End of conversation. Yeah. Well, in today's time, that's not realistic. Well, right? let me let me ask you a question. Um, in the times that you were committed, did you literally not look at any other men? If ever, I, if I, I'll be honest. Well. Of course, when I was young, that was done. But as I got, so I'll use the guy that I was engaged to because that was, we were together for two years. And mm-hmm. Okay. If if I'm out with you and we're at a bar and there's a mm-hmm. cute guy there, yeah, there's a cute guy there. But I literally never paid attention really to anybody because I'm in a, in a relationship and I genuinely cared about this person. But and, you can appreciate the physical good looks though, right? Oh, for sure. For sure. And that's human nature. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's the same thing. And I would be with him and I'd be like, oh my God, look at that girl's ass. I'm so jealous. And he'd be like, oh, it's a little too big for me. Like, so we had that. Like we could. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that's normal. Normal like, relationships have banned. I'm thinking that. more of like, don't be texting another girl, inboxing well, yeah. another girl, stuff like that. Okay. That's unless it's like work related or. Oh, yeah, like that's that. that's. But it. but you should also be able to like if you're at home and your phone's there and I text you mm-hmm. about something, she should be able to look at the text message. Sure. There should be nothing, you know, sure. hidden. So, yeah, for sure. People are I have I work with the majority all guys. Right. So yeah. my phone goes off. It's 90% our industry guys. is just yeah. majority. All guys. It's 90 percent guy. Yeah, that's. I'm going to get a text from. And yet I got the two cutest girls right here with me. <laughs> and, oh, and, and they wait, know that too. Hold on. And were you not <laughs> fed tonight? Uh, yes, there's a plate sitting over there. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. And thank you to whoever made that Ooh. good looking case. <laughs> that you I'm said gonna... whoever. My mom is going to whoop your ass. Oh, because you know what? Is it your mom or your grandmother? I, I yeah, I thought you said grandma. Okay. Okay. Cause... I heard grandmother. All right. That's what I thought. No, too. grandma called on the phone. All right. I knew grandma was in there somewhere. Yeah. That's all. I'm going to tell my mama. You said whoever. So your mama, the boxer, your mama made that for uh-huh. me? Well, she made it because we had, uh, we have. Oh, a- now I'm honored. Yeah. <laughs> all right. we have- Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We had a, a barbecue for our dear friend. She's part of the family. Marianne, mm-hmm. have you met Marianne? I think so. Yeah, at so, Kathy's. Yeah. So, yeah. So Mary and I are just a few months apart and she's pretty much became part of the family. And it was her birthday a few days mm-hmm. ago. And she does a lot for my mom, a lot for my grandma. She does a lot for all of us. And so I kind of wanted to do a little surprise thing for her today, but she was totally surprised. <laughs> uh, but I bought her a cake, but my mom made that on the side. And when they were there, my mom and the, her were both saying, oh, take Solomon food when you go. Make sure you take him this. Make sure you take him mm. that. Yeah. And I got the text message. Are you hungry? <laughs> but it was at like three o'clock. Yeah. And so I'm like, wait, I got to wait till six. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yes you gotta wait till six i was like uh i'm bringing you some food i was Aww. like yeah and then i brought you some dessert too appreciate that, that. sweet mm-hmm. it was i was like "Ooh, he's gonna love this so um okay so we're eight minutes 35 seconds and and did you record our... all that yes i, re- I did hit record this time. <laughs> hey you know there's <laughs> <laughs> I, by the way lady, we've been here for an hour okay and a so half. Let, let's mm-hmm. let's clarify i'm gonna put the camera just on me let's clarify they were here an hour and a half talking and having <laughs> a good time it's not like they were waiting on me so don't let <laughs> her make me sound like the evil person over here you know and uh i will say this i truly enjoy their company yes Both well we've you. we've had 500 different discussions but yeah. okay so let's get into it because it's already yeah, nine so minutes yeah. in. what is and, the topic today what did we say? The differences of Just, opinions. Yeah, and households. And households. But yeah. meaning like anything and anything. everything, right? So give me an example of what's the difference of you and Brian in your household. And how, we don't have to actually get into the actual difference, but like how does it yeah. affect your guys' household? And not, we're not talking about uh, either toilet seat up type stuff. We're talking no, about things no. that are actually controversial. Yeah, like parenting. Um, oh, that one's one. hard. Yeah. yeah. Parenting is very hard. Um, Do some, you guys have a difference in parenting? I, I don't really think majority of the time we don't, but sometimes we do. Um, we just grew up different. So I think when you grow up differently, you have difference of opinions, which happens, you know, all the time. Oh, for sure. And then we have a difference in our politics. 
Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. So you're So we don't talk politics. Yeah, that's a dirty word. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're a union member. Yeah. Is he he's not, right? He's non union. So he doesn't like. Oh, so he doesn't like unions? Mm-mm. But okay, so let me ask this. Cause Seth, well, because uh, let me tell you why. Tell and me. I kind of feel him on it. I we have we have how many sick days a year? How oh. many floater holidays a year? Yeah. How much PTO a year? Yeah. He doesn't get any sick time. He gets like two days. And, and I'm not that. joking. Well, and that's why I don't really talk about our job too much because we're so blessed with our job. Oh, we are and so people, blessed. I don't the want, money that we make and the benefits I, that yeah. we get from and it. And I don't want the outer people to hate us as a union because the, yeah. the media already uh, oh, I know. The they already portrays. portrays us as horrible. So I don't ever like to get yeah, into that. Yeah, that we're not negotiating. Yeah, and, all this stuff. Yeah. But I feel like at the end of the day, uh, that union money pays half those bills in that house. Mm-hmm. Boy, you better like my union. <laughs> like, cause, So I'm not married. So true. I don't live with a guy. But Loran and I, you know, growing up had a difference in mm-hmm. a lot of things. And my son and I had a difference. It, it, probably Seth and I are harder. And... Yeah raising him to be his own person Mm -hmm. but at the same time you got to do this you got to like this you got to like that i think for him it was conflicting till he got to a point where now he has his own opinions and we don't agree like do you guys talk about it though oh we do do argue um we used to argue because Mm -hmm. because i am that mother that's like my house my bills my ways but i realized that that's not healthy for him yeah Um, it's not healthy period no so i had to uh, like back the f off and mm-hmm. my friend on Jeanette was the one that was like girl let him be his own person like yeah so i did and so it got to a point where i would have to let him say what he liked or didn't like yeah. even if i didn't agree and just we, uh, we suck it up we are the same way like we just came to the conclusion that we're not going to change each other's minds that's where i'm at yeah and it's like why even bother fighting about it because we just have totally different opinions and the difference is i like to hear his opinion now Mm -hmm. because he is my son and so i want to know whereas he's not my husband or something where it is annoying yeah i want to because i want to hear and there's sometimes where i want to say well what if this or what if that the problem is Seth is very smart way smarter than me so when I say, well, I liked Kennedy because of this, he's like, yeah. do you even know what Kennedy did or didn't do? And he's majority, also a history major. So. Yeah. Majority of the time, I really want to know where he got the info from. <gasps> that is, yeah. Like, where did it come from? Like, are, we, how, are we still talking about unions specifically? No, no. Just like in general. Like politics. politics. Um, just a difference of opinion on the way we parent Josh. Things like that. I'm just like, do where you, did this come from? But do you think that today's times, again, going back to years ago, is so different? Because mm-hmm. like my grandparents who, again, I've, I talk about my grandpa so much because he's just amazing. He was Democrat. Yeah. And I would say I don't even know what my grandma was because mm-hmm. she followed her husband. So when my grandparents got married. So she didn't have her own opinion. Well, yes and no. It just wasn't no. voiced. Yeah. No. Well, hold, uh, I, okay, okay. So this go, is the, this is the thing. If you knew my grandma growing up, we thought she ran the house. Yeah. Because my grandpa was just very content, and he was so madly in love with my grandma, she could do no wrong. But I got to a point as I got older, like, mm-hmm. oh, you don't run it. He just lets you think you run it. It's him. So when it came to like uh, voting, mm-hmm. my grandpa would go vote in the morning, and I'd come pick up his ballot, his thing, and I didn't even know what I was voting on. I just went off what he said. Because that's what we did. We followed the man. My grandma was Catholic. My grandpa was Protestant. But we were raised Protestant. Like, Yeah. But my grandma was loud, funny, had friends, girls, guys out. Like, Yeah. Like, and he, he, I shouldn't say allow, but he did allow her to do that. So she was her own person until it came to certain things. Yeah. And then he was like, we're voting this. Yeah. I don't shove anything down Josh's throat. I'm just going to let him make his his own assumption do you think times have changed though in that sense like women have more of a voice today oh more independent and younger generations i believe they're more involved in politics than they used to be see that way maybe my grandma wasn't more involved maybe she was more of the mom and didn't care about kids were honestly do you think do you think kids were involved kids were involved in what politics at all no no, no, not at all. I think this generation, because of TikTok and Twitter and yeah, social media, it's out there. They're involved. 
But yes, because they know I wasn't more. a kid. Yeah. Honestly, I I really before all social media, they were just grooming their kids. Like yes. you need to believe what we yes. believe, and that's it. So I'm a UCLA fan because my mm-hmm. grandpa said so. I'm a believer in faith because my grandpa said so. Mm-hmm. I very much so. Like yeah, what you said is 100 percent true, and. I've done the same thing with my kids, but now like my daughter and I are, are Dodger fans, let's just say. Yeah. Seth is an Angels fan. And I'm like, but you live in my house and I'm a Dodger fan. But we That's we're like, like controlling side of you. <laughs> but we're like cool. Like we do things for him for his angels. Mm-hmm. Like, but I do want him to be his own person. I do like yeah. that he has his own voice. There was a lot of grooming going on. Oh. Yeah. Well, wow. That's a, a lot. Unpopular word. Recently. I don't care. There well. For other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but she means that if you take social media away, no, Twitter, it all that they, away, it was They so told different. you what to believe. Yes. And sometimes I feel like maybe Parents they should like, you, because kids are dumb. Yeah. Like you're like you're No, I think you should guide your kid. And you could vote. But you don't even like you could vote, but you can't go buy alcohol. Yeah. So th- that doesn't make sense I think to you me. should guide your kid. I don't think you should tell them you need to believe this. I think you can what about guide faith? them. So what about faith in your guys' household? I don't do you know. have a difference I, in faith oh, in the household? I don't think me and Brian do, but me and Brian's family do. Um, I I was always, I grew up very religious. I went to Christian schools. I just, I have a totally different opinion on religion now. I feel religion. like re- uh, religion. Yeah, see, I, I, do. I'm not, I say that I'm not, I don't have... I'm not religious. I don't even say I'm Christian anymore because it's so they're so hypocritical. I just say oh, I'm biblical now. I'm, I'm just I'm I honestly faith. I don't call myself anything because I went to Christian schools and I just don't know if I believe all of the things that you hear. And 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 one of the biggest things that turned me off is when I got older, I see churches passing around a charity plate. You know, like you have to donate to the church. This pastor told us we had to tithe 10% of our paycheck to the church. And that's why, and he's driving a Mercedes. See, he's got a yacht. Gonna, yeah. He's got a $2 million house. And it's you like are supposed the to people, tithe. all the people that are take are giving money to this church are driving Honda Civics, you know, have a dead end job. It's just incredible to me that this guy is driving around in Mercedes. Like His Joel wife Olstein? is in a Tesla. Like Joel Olsen. Who, oh, who, come to my church and give me money, but the, when there's the flood, you can't, yeah, I can't exactly. open the doors. Oh, it's flooded. I You can't open the doors, and then yeah. you find out it's not. I, 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 mm, yeah. So that, I, I, don't even get me started. So it frustrates See, now me. we know why these topics are so controversial. Yeah, <laughs> it frustrates me so much. Like, how are you going to take money from people who are barely making it? And that that's a whole heart part of like yeah. the religion thing, the faith thing, whatever you say. So for like us in our house, I believe in Jesus. Like I, mm-hmm. I'm biblical. I, say I don't now. say I don't and, believe in God. I just I don't believe in church and I don't believe and a lot in of religion. People, yes. And that's how I feel for the most Because I can't verify that God wrote this Bible. You know, the stuff in it to me is so controversial to, to me. Okay, because we're gonna like, have to have a talk. We're gonna have a gonna whole have thing to on that. This or God is gonna send you to hell. See, but it's hold on. Crazy. So that, but that's not that's man saying that. That's not what the Bible says. Because the Bible says you only need two things to get to heaven. Actually, just one, I believe. You need to know my son. You just to get need to, to believe in God, and that's, that's it. what it so is. So when people say, "Well, you're gonna go to hell for this," so you're gonna go. For- Wait, you guys just said two different things. She said you need to know yeah. her, his son. You oh. said you need to believe in God. Yeah, believe in God. Okay, but that's two different well, things. Well, yeah. so you so, have oh. to believe in Jesus to get to God. And Jesus is his son. So that's okay. that's So the I only... didn't know that. Really? Mm-mm. So that is the only thing. So, and I'm going to use this and people are going to hate me and I don't really care at this point. So when people say, well, your daughter's going to go to hell because she's gay. Mm, no, she's not. It's a sin, but so is being a drunkard and a whore. And I'm sure there's a lot of those going around, right? Like, my daughter has faith and she believes in Jesus. Yeah. And I've always told her, as long yeah. as you don't lose your faith, I got your back. And yeah. she never has. Mm-hmm. She's not going to hell. And it's also her sin to carry. And yeah. the Bible says clearly, you just need to know my son to get to yeah. me. So people, so it's which are that. church and Christians, yeah. they pick and choose, mm-hmm. right? They say, oh, well, this or well, that. But 
you don't get to do that. But you, you know what, though? Mm-hmm. That whole conversation stops at you have no right to judge. Yeah. None. You know, that's not your place. It's not your place. Everyone here is on their own path with God. Yeah. You We're know. supposed to love each other the way right. Jesus loved the church. We're right. supposed to yeah. really love our brother. And that's the thing that people aren't. So for me and our house, um, I've always told my kids, the day you lose your faith is the day we're going to have a problem. And yeah. Seth lost his faith for a little bit. And I actually was proud of myself because I wanted to be the controlling woman that I am. So have you ever been in a relationship where they didn't believe the same things as you and it clashed? Actually, no. I've clashed more with people that have the same faith that I do. Because Interesting. I can, I've dated somebody who has a great soul. He's a great person, but he just, he was raised in the church. And as he got older, he just had a lot of questions and just stopped believing. Right. Yeah. But he's a good soul. He's a good human being. He's a good person. It was never a topic that my son, this or my daughter, that, but then I've dated Christians who are like, one guy literally said to me like, well, you know, if your daughter gets married, you can never go to her wedding. And I was like, first of all, who are you to ever tell me that? And as a Christian, that's my daughter. And he's like, yeah, but she's going to go to hell. And I was like, yeah, we're done. I got to go. Like, yeah. So it's back to. That's what I, that frustrates me the most. I just don't feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody and you genuinely love them. Yeah. And again, you, like we were just laughing earlier and teasing that I have, like I live in my narrow box because I, I'm not married. And I don't live with somebody. So I probably live in la la land. Right. <laughs> yeah. You live in ideal land. I do. <laughs> but I would hope the that. The quantum girl. <laughs> That's that's who you are. She that's just calls the guy. You can come over. Yeah, she's a quantum girl. All right, now leave. <laughs> Seth's coming over. Don't lose your toothbrush. Don't leave your toothbrush. Yeah. No, I just feel like if I love you genuinely and you love me, like, hey, whoever you voted for is who you voted for. And I'll, and I'll use an example because I called my aunt and uncle today to ask them, and they've been married thirty years. I got it wrong last time. And we were Facetime on with them today, and I said, "Do politics ever become an issue for the two of you?" And they said, "No." And they have a huge difference in their why politics. Um, I think my uncle's more Republican, my aunt's more Democrat. Why doesn't it become an issue? They just don't talk about it? No, they talk about it. But I think they genuinely <coughs> love each other where they respect each other's opinions. Yeah. And they don't fight and they are, they don't argue about it. And my aunt does have a rule, though. When they go somewhere, they don't talk about it. Like yeah. if they go to dinner with friends See, and stuff, my aunt always says. Have that's a rule. an absolute yeah. rule. Yeah. Politics Bra- and religion. One time... Uh, Brian's brother came in talking about pol- politics, and I was like so thrilled. It made me so happy. Brian actually told him like, "Don't come in my house, our house, and talk about politics." Really? Yeah. And he normally doesn't stick up for me for because we have such a difference in opinion. Yeah, but you're his woman. He's yeah. Good. So yeah. he did. I was so. Yeah. So they don't talk so about happy. it. But my aunt sent yeah. me a side text, which was funny, and she said, "I got to read it to you because it's hilarious." And I was like, this is where he draws the line. And she says, yes. She says, no political issues. But if I came home with the Louis Vuitton purse, I would be in trouble. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, that's where he draws the line. And she and she says, yes. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, okay, like maybe I'm a man. I didn't really get it. But whatever. (laughs) Yeah, I get it. So but I also think because they don't have kids. So yeah, their issues are just their issues within themselves. Yeah. I think if they had a child, then like you said, how would they want to raise that kid? Democrat, Republican, yeah. you know, this way or well, that way. See, that's, that's the funny thing about it is I always tell people I'm fiscally a Republican, but I'm morally a Democrat. I'm, I'm not really w- one way or the other. I just, the morals of Republicans to me are just very different from mine. I don't. So growing up, we were always told you're a Democrat, you're a Democrat, you're a Democrat, especially now because I'm a union member. Right. Yeah. So I've just always gone with that. And I vote that because I am a union member. Yeah. But I'll be honest, I'm such a like, again, I live in la la land. I, I don't I don't really get into politics that much. I don't like to argue them. I don't like to. But I've noticed that any guy always wants to know what I am. And I'm like, why, why, why is it a big deal? Like, I'm yeah. not asking you for your money. You're not taking mine. Why can't yeah. we just date? Well, I need to know. I need to know where you stand. But why? Like, I'll tell you why, though. Because right right now, I mean, I think what people forget is that um, being a Democrat or being a Republican is basically two different sort of philosophies on the rule of government, right? And you can have 
qualified conversations about that. Yeah. The problem is that um, recently, because there's two things going on, because you have politicians who are really trying to focus people on one particular point. And at the same time, you have media that's then glorifying and over popularizing those points. People are making left or right decisions based on those mm -hmm. points and not on the, the core philosophy. Yeah. I mean, my core philosophy is uh, I'm a Republican because I believe in self-reliance. Yeah. I don't I don't believe, you know, I believe in yeah. depending on myself and not depending on other people. Big. That's my core belief. Yeah. Now, all of the stuff that's being popularized, I yeah. don't really have any kind of connection to that no. kind of stuff because mm -hmm. I am a sensible human being and all of that, mm -hmm. right? But, you know, there are, you can have qualified conversations with people. But the reason guys are asking you now is because of all the things that are going on. They're like, because then they're going to say, oh, well, if you're a Democrat, what are you? You have, uh, I just you believe in that old president and da 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 da. Yeah, and you think, it's, and it's like, like automatically, it if you're a Democrat, you believe in what Biden's doing. I, and like that's, that's the thing is, that's I, don't in, I don't believe that the government gives a shit about any of us to begin it, with. I, like, I, I'm not I, so I, sure. I, I don't like the government at yeah. all. They're, it's so bad on either side right now. And I'm not so sure that there shouldn't be like a new way of doing things. Maybe having a republic and a democrat and someone who's dead smack in the middle. Yeah. All in the same White House. And they're, they're just talking and trying to get to a common ground. Because right now the way the House and the floor go, it's crazy. See, I don't like this chair. I'm, I'm trying to get her to move here. over because her face is out of the camera here. <laughs> trouble. See what happened? It looks so cute, though. I just, I don't know. <laughs> this chair is, I don't like that angle. That I don't know. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> like, I got to figure it out. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't, I don't, for me personally, I think because it's such a topic with everybody, mm -hmm. like, I, I'm like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, I don't want to hear it. Like, I don't think that the government cares about any of us. Look what's going on in the world and how bad it is right now. I don't want to have those arguments. Yeah. I'm just trying to go to work and pay my bills as it is. Yep. I'm trying to make sure Seth finishes succeeding what he's doing right now, mm -hmm. making sure Loran's on a good path. And at any point, you think the government gives a crap about me or any of that or my one little yeah. vote's going to matter? No way. No way. It, it's just not. No and way. and I, I also feel like, look at the Clintons. Like, I'm sorry, there's like a death number list that they just have yeah. attached to them like all of that is a little scary and so yeah. i tell a lot of guys i have one king in my life i have one ruler and that mm. is jesus wait what about the clintons and death what are you talking about you haven't seen the little like <laughs> stop reading conspiracy theories it's not okay. conspiracy theory right. did you get it from youtube question um uh, those drive me nuts. All Conspiracy I know is that Clintons have been to the Epstein Island how many times? Do you times? know how many people have been to Epstein Island? And they Let's should be all... clear. Okay. Trump being one of them. Has he really? Yes. See, I told Seth he should have come today. And Seth was about to come today because he would have been like, da 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 da, -da. Yeah, But that doesn't matter, like, though. Anybody, how can people keep dying that are attached to the Clintons? If you tell me that's a but conspiracy who? theory... Right. I don't know. I All don't. Right. I think we've gone on a little bit of a tangent. Yeah, we, I think we're it's, not supposed to talk about politics. I think it's my politics. job as producer to bring you back <laughs> a little bit. We have a difference of All opinion. Right. But I want to. I want to say one thing uh, to Alina. Let's make sure we leave space for to understand that there are other people who have different views yeah. of government. Yeah. Wait. What did I, I say? They I, didn't. You just said I hate the government. They don't give a shit about people. Oh, they don't. Yeah. But they don't give a shit about I, I can. I can tell you this. In any society that you go into, there is a form of government. Yeah. So there is something in these but you structure. Wait, let me finish. The structure of government yeah. that actually works. Now, is there is there room at every level for corruption, for things to go wrong? Yes, because we're mm -hmm. human beings. Yeah. But the government structure works because that's it's in every society. It's yeah. the building block of every society. So I'll just say that. So yeah. I come so I grew up in a house with my grandfather who's dang it, my mom's gonna kill me. My grand, my grandpa's dad or grandpa was on the reservation and he's a native and he should be registered as a native. But mm -hmm. he would always say, I'm not giving the pinche government any of my information. Like they, they, you know, the natives got take everything taken away from them in the form of yeah. the government. Yeah. So growing up, we were always like Christopher Columbus Day. We never celebrated that. So when the school sent us home, because we didn't, we didn't have school on a Monday, yeah. it always was. My grandpa would tell us, we don't celebrate this day. So we've always kind of been taught that they don't care about us. They don't like us. 
just always prepare well, yourself. Yeah, it's like us so, celebrating Thanksgiving. Yeah, we so uh, yeah, you that's won't a hard see one. one. That's a hard not one. Not one Native American celebrating oh, we, that. They don't holiday. celebrate it. So when we it's, do it's offensive. Very offensive. So obviously as Americans we do. And obviously in our household it's a day of of, of giving yeah. thanks to for us to Christ and for what mm -hmm. we have. But we had that topic today because even Seth said, I would have loved to have been there to see what really happened, what really went on, right? Yeah. And my mom jumped all over him. <laughs> like, you know, good, good so it's not that I, <laughs> if you're going to tell me that the government of the United States honestly cares about this little Mexican right here, no way, sir. Like maybe do they care about us as a whole, as a country? Maybe, mm -hmm. but not me as an individual. No, I think what he's trying to say is that the government structure works. It's the people in it. Yeah, and it's not it's not the president's <laughs> job to all worry fighting about with you. I think I think if they're, but all they're, everybody's fighting. Everybody. Oh, yeah. But right. that's but they've been fighting since the day they came. They all that's want power. What I'm saying that's they why, all want why power. I feel like it should totally change. There should be everyone on like one of each. Or if we can just get someone who is like me or like you who is just right in the middle. I think we should bring JFK because back I'm not the dead. I'm not I don't call myself a Democrat. I don't call myself a Republican. And I can't I don't either anymore. I'm I don't either because I feel right like in the middle. I exactly because I don't agree. I could take a little from each, each side. side. Yeah, I agree. And I get and again, I think most people today feel that way because yeah. of the way both of those sides are being misrepresented. Yeah. In these small topics. I mean, think about it. at the end of the day. People don't vote on all the issues. You no. vote based on what impacts you. What what affects right? you? And so when and what you, you want. If you can yeah. then control the populace and basically say, if you vote for this guy, he's gonna come after this thing that impacts you. Yeah. That influences your vote. Oh, 100 percent so percent Now you've got a souped up media machine that that just constantly mm -hmm. puts this rhetoric out there. Yeah. And that's how people are being controlled by and, and, mm -hmm. and how their vote is sort of being taken yep. because they're not doing the research to say what's yeah. really about, what are the and long not hearing reaching both things sides. of this. And they're just saying, well, that's you know thing. what? That impacts me, both so sides. I'll no. vote. That's, they're yeah, they're that's just like Republicans are just like, I'm only going to listen to the Republican stations, you know, like stick to that side. But that's they the never. I, I listen to everyone. I was going to say, you have to listen to both yeah. sides because how can you make a vote Take the Democrat word and the Republican word out of it. Mm -hmm. And you listen to both sides of the argument yeah. and you vote upon what's better for our country. Yeah. But they don't do that anymore. No. A Republican will stick no. with a Republican no matter what they do and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And for us, I, and I feel like, again, for us little people, we just sit there. And it's like it's like parents going through a divorce mm -hmm. and we're the kids. We're just watching them fight and fight and we have to choose and we don't know which side to choose. Yeah. That's Why right. are you shaking your head over there, Solomon? Oh, I, I was just listening. Sorry. Oh. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's see. So back to the topic. <laughs> that is the topic. Um, okay. Politics. So what other, what other controversies in the household um, do you think cause issues with couples? In today's times? Correct. There's, there's the whole gay, lesbian, transgender thing. There's mm -hmm. politics. There's religion. There's... Um, what else is there? Uh, kids, like you said, parenting, yeah. your parenting parenting style, your parenting ways. I don't have that, obviously. Right. Yeah. Um, I probably wish I would have because I probably wouldn't have messed up my kids like I have because I do have huge control mm -hmm. issues, which we've all seen. Yeah. But I also know that if I if I was to be with somebody who has kids, it would be really hard because I'm so like my kids are spoiled rotten and they'll tell you that. Well, is but that it comes why it'll be price. hard? Because your kids won't accept someone? No. Oh, no. If I met somebody today, Seth wants me to be happy. Yeah. Seth would be my biggest advocate. But if I if I met a guy today and he has kids and, and they're over 12, under 20, mm -hmm. and we're home and the kid walks in and just starts saying, I had a fucking bad day today, my kids would be like, oh, we, yeah. we, we, don't, we don't cuss in mama's house. Like, what are you doing? Like... And I would feel offended. Like, your kid just talks like that? Like, that's yeah. disrespectful. But Would you I, date someone with kids that young right now? I would date some. I just don't want to date somebody with kids like three or four. Oh, so you'd go through the whole raising thing all over again? No, because I wouldn't. They're not my kids. I wouldn't raise them. I, you're, well, he's you raising. If they move, well, 12, move years, in together. 12 years old. Yeah. That's raising. Uh, yeah. Yes and no. Okay. Meaning if, the, if so, I met a guy, he had a 12-year-old daughter. Right. And she's with us 50% of the time. 
I the only thing I'm gonna ever discipline her on is if she's trying to like light something on fire that's gonna burn the house down. Other than that, anything else? That's, yeah. That's how do you his, feel about that? That's his discipline. I would from never another. discipline somebody else's kids because mm, they're yeah. not my kids. Mm. I would I would want to be the fun, cool aunt. Like, but you can't always be that. If that child had a predominant mother in their life, I will never step on her toes. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's here's what I'll say to that. Um, that is a is a good starting point. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, once you get into that situation, you're going to develop a racial relationship with that kid, and yeah. you're going to respond based on that relationship. Yeah. So you can't go in saying, "Here's what I'm not going to do." I'm that's, not going to. That's do a this. that's a yeah. starting point. But so, you will you will change that based on the relationship you have mm -hmm. with that kid. Because if that kid loves you and trusts you and and responds to you coaching her or, you know, because discipline yeah. is a form of coaching, then you're going to do it because you love that kid as much as, say, her mother does. So let's use yeah. the 16-year-old grandson. Um, love him to death, spoil him. He comes over. Like, my house is fun house, right? Yeah. So there's never had been a moment to really discipline him, right? And I've loved that, right? Because I get to be the cool, quote, unquote, grandma, right? And send him home. Well, now a <laughs> situation happened and I was livid. I didn't know how to handle it because he's not my nephew that I could smack my kid that I could smack. He's he's Jackie's son. And I, I have to watch that line. Right. So he kind of went home and I had to I had to really take a moment to think about it and how I was going to do it. And I had to breathe a little bit. And yeah, we got past it. Um, it's probably. My kids probably would love to have me discipline them the way I did it with him. Did you tell the but, mother? Oh, instantly. I had to. I, okay. I couldn't. I had to instantly. So you, but, okay, so you put it on but, her. So that's good. Oh, yeah. And so, and the main thing I told him was this. I am your biggest advocate. I spoil the hell out of you. And not only did you put me in an ugly situation with yourself, now you put your mothers in a situation with me that could have, yeah. because now it's like, okay, we have to discipline him. He did what he wasn't supposed to do, but... Is she going to be, how mad is she going to be? Because it was a big thing. Yeah. Um. And I, I really wanted to make sure this is my daughter-in-law who I adore. And I, I don't want any lines to get crossed or messed up. So I made sure it didn't affect our relationship. But I had to separate myself for a few days from him because he's not my kid that I could be like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you thinking? What's wrong with you? You know, so I would hope I would be like that with a stepkid too. Have you ever had the conversation with uh, the kid's mother to say, hey, listen, if they're here with me and I'm under their care and if they do some things, you know, what are you comfortable with me doing? Have you had that conversation? Jackie's like, whoop their asses. OK. So like the so at the time, Emery, so Emery's 10 now. So maybe she was about eight. I took some and water. And these are their. These are Jackie's kids. Jackie's kids. Yeah. Okay. So I took some uh, water off the stove and I poured it in a cup and I put the cup kind of far from the counter. And I said, Emery, do not touch that. That's hot water. Well, I turned around and she was going to touch it. Not thinking, just instant reaction. I smacked her little ass. <laughs> and she looked at me like. It didn't <gasps> make her touch the water? <laughs> and I looked at her like, oh my God, I hit Jackie's kid. Like, But it was such a natural reaction because all I was thinking is she's going to burn herself, right? Yeah. She didn't even cry. She just looked at me like she couldn't believe I did it. And so I had her call Jackie and I told Jackie and Jackie's like, okay, so why are you calling me? And I'm yeah. Like, you need to but, get over that. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, but I hit your kid. She's like, I'm at work. I got to go. Bye. Like I don't have time for this. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. I was like, okay. So I explained it to her. So yeah. Jackie's really good because she trusts me. Yeah. She knows I'm not an evil person. I'm not going to ever attack him or hit him for no reason. And so therefore you need to trust yourself. Yeah. And you also need to take uh, ownership of your role in their lives. Mm hmm. And you need to stop looking at it like it's somebody else's kid. I just want to be the fun one. And, well, you can still be I the want fun discipline one. Other people's kids. You can only be fun once you set the boundaries. Yeah. You have to set the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I get but that. You big... can't say that you'll never do it. Yeah. Oh, no. Because my niece, she don't play with me. Gia, she knows. Like, uh uh. Yeah. Auntie Lena will yank my ponytail. She'll whoop mm -hmm. my butt. But I feel confident with it because she's, she's my sister's, you know what I mean? So. But I think it's hard when you combine families and you have two difference of opinions and how you raise them. Because a lot of people today do not spank their kids. Right. They do the timeout yeah. thing. And I don't I, believe in the timeout thing. I, I don't do timeout. And I, I honestly, I don't spank either. I just don't have any desire to spank my kid. Seth needed some spanking along the way. That kid was a little like, and nothing major. Josh but, was my only baby. And I just, I could not. But Josh is such a 
like a calm. Yeah. Seth maybe was because a wild I did banshee. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Seth excuse was like, me. Josh was not calm his whole life. Well, he that, looks like it. He settled down a lot when he hit like 13. Okay, so did has Brian ever spanked him, disciplined him, and how did you feel about that? No, he's never spanked him. I, I would lose my shit at the beginning of a relationship. You told me that. Yeah, you told me that. But now today, he definitely Oh, could. yeah. He disciplines, of course. He's been disciplining Josh since he was four years old. But, yeah. but at the beginning, because it's super new and you don't want to... I don't want to traumatize him. Here comes this new guy. I'm introducing you to him. And then he's going to spank you. But do you know how many girls do that? Uh, there's something wrong with them if they do they're that. They're calling them daddy after like two or three months. And that's I'm like, insane. that's not their dad. Yeah, like, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, like, that's wrong. And I've always been like, absolutely Well, not. it's different for me. Josh calls Brian dad because that's his dad. But like how long have dad. you guys been together though? A long time. Yeah. 13 years. And that's the only man he knows. Yeah, so rightfully exactly. so. So that's right? his dad. So he disciplines him today. You're <clears> like, <throat> do it. Take yeah. it. I'm good with it. Like, no problem. But do you guys ever have a difference in opinions and things sometimes that josh when when josh was smaller he would tell me you need to spank him and i'm just i've just never been a spanker i don't spank i don't want to spank my poor babies <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell i don't want to smack anyone i just never did that i'll tell you my personal story so i raised my daughter by myself well not raised but when she was going into eighth grade she decided to come in and live with me mm -hmm. and so from eighth grade through high school and everything. And I and I know that, and even before that, I never really had to spank her much because I think the one thing I could say to her that would get her to really understand the gravity of what she did is I'd look at her and go, you know, I'm really disappointed in you. Yeah. And she would just burst into tears. Yeah. I mean, so I, I, you know, but if you set well, that, ass kids would be like, yeah, if you set that, culture, they're more though, upset about know, that than anything. Absolutely. I yeah, feel like spanking culture, does it, not it shit. Well, I'm not if talking, you want to like, know the I'm truth, I'm talking that. about spanking. Well, Seth got flicked in the mouth a few times because his, and it's my fault because I wanted him to be this opinionated kid, yeah. right? Well, it was cute when he was four, and I was like, well, what do you want? Or when he's eight, it's like, well, how do you feel? And now at 15, he's like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, nobody asked you. Yeah. Bam. And he'd be like, so it was my fault, right? Like, he, I raised him to be a certain way. And then it, when it turned on me, I guess, in a sense. <clears throat> so his. I just took a calmer approach with John. I'm I'm not a calmer woman. I yeah. need to be. I wish I, I was. I'm not calm my poor either. Babies. I'm not calm my either, poor which is shocking. I do uh, now. The only thing that I do is I yell. Like if I tell you one time and you don't answer me, I tell you twice and you don't. Answer, by the third time, I'm pissed. I'm and not a little pissed. I'm fuming. Like I'm coming. I'm storming in your room and I'm screaming at you at the top of my lungs. Okay, so, I don't do that, but so, I'll talk in my loud voice. Yeah. Oh no. I will raise hell if he doesn't answer me after the third call. Really? Oh, yes. So I you don't think that. that's just as I, bad as spanking? I, I hate being ignored. Don't freaking ignore me. Answer me. So acknowledge me. Yeah. And then we're, we're all good. So, so that's more of a pet peeve for you, then. Oh, big pet peeve. Well, I Seth always tells me I'm that. yelling, but it's just my voice. Like, it's not yeah. like... He'll be like, yeah, what, what, I know. What's wrong? They tell like, me that all the time. You're always yelling. I'm like, I'm do you sorry. Think, but it's also I'm like, just loud. Well, one, I'm loud. One, I there were six of us, so I had yeah. like, and I was the runt in the family. Like even me my too. little brothers, the youngest, I was had a, excuse me, had a little, you know. So I was like the runt in the family. Mm -hmm. So I had to be heard. I yeah. had to get loud. Then I go work where I work, and I had to be loud. And we both have kids that are quiet yeah isn't that funny so i come home and says like why, why what, what are you doing and i was like nothing what are you doing he's like well why, why are you yelling like bring it down like, yeah you. so anytime if so i don't yell at seth at all mm -hmm. i have not yelled at him in years because if i yell at him like solomon says it hurts his feelings now and you're yeah. at the point where you can communicate it doesn't yeah. hurt right. Josh's that's feelings. Different. He'll just look at me and go, "Why are you yelling?" That, that that's totally. <laughs> that is he totally literally sad. like doesn't even get mad. He's just like, "Why are you yelling?" Yeah. Loran laughs at me. Like Loran's like, <laughs> like there goes mom like, again. I called you three times and you didn't answer. <laughs> Do you hate when you call on the phone and they don't answer, but then they send a text and say, "What's up?" Yes, or they just don't answer. Like, I'm like, who's paying your phone bill? Okay, see, I feel the same way. Yeah, but you know, that's a sign of the times. So you just got to get used uh -uh, to that. No, 
No, no. I don't. Mm. Your damn mama it. calls you and Answer there's a the missed call. Phone. Yeah. And don't send me a text and say, sup. Sh- sup? <laughs> I'll show you what's up. <laughs> oh my God. Why are you all mad? <laughs> because I called you. You see a mixed call from your mom, you call her yeah. back. You don't send a text. No. Like when my friends do it, I'm like, you're a moron. I'm just like, mm. I called you, you couldn't you couldn't answer the phone or call me back. You send a text. Yeah. I'm not I'm not cool. I'm not uh, uh, that doesn't bother me so much because I'm not big on phone calls. I like texting more. I don't mind texting, but I like to talk voice, to my kids. Voice texting is so easy. I just think it's funny, so though, when my daughter does that. You just that. talk what? into your phone. When you call and they don't answer, and then, you know, yeah. you text them and they text you right back. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I what mean, are you doing? I can't yeah. argue with my kids at this point because something like that, they'll probably laugh at me like, are you serious? In my head, I get mad. You. I don't like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, especially Loran, because my poor baby... She gets minutes of work to ta- talk to me. And so if she calls and I can't talk to her, it's always, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. She's really good. It's Seth who can be, who, don't bother me. Like, mm-hmm. just send me a text of what you need. If he calls me, it's always like, he wants something. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a guy in him. Okay, so we're about 45 minutes in. Time has just flown. Look at that. We've been, I, know. And, um, I haven't even finished my coffee. Oh, well, yeah, by all means do that. So, okay, so <laughs> with this topic uh, being... Being about the controversies, I think the good way to sum it up, and I'll just give you my thought and you guys could provide your thoughts. Um, communication, first mm-hmm. of all. I think, you know, the cool, the cool thing about these things is that they're usually not surprises. You know if you're different religions. You know, yeah. you find out if you have different philosophies. And so it's about talking. Ultimately, relationships are about having the things that are absolute must-haves for you and then compromising yeah. on the rest of it. You know, it's yeah. like, these are the things that I have to have. And then you guys agree on that and you compromise on the rest of it. So but people aren't willing to start. compromise these days. Um, yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Okay. They are. She, people, you know, and especially. She said, okay. And as, like, as you okay. get older. I don't too, agree, but okay. <laughs> yeah. People will, people are willing to compromise. Like, like, I'm going to tell you this. And, you know, I think once you get into that relationship, you're going to be a lot more flexible than you think you are. Mm-hmm. I really, I'm I, totally flexible. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Did you but, just choke on me? Yes. I think See, I don't I, think I realize like who I really am because I'm like, oh, I'm happy and I'm like, like, I'm flexible. flexible. You just sat here for the last 45 minutes and gave us all the rules about what you will and won't do and, and what that. your kids and, can and can't do. Yeah. So no, you're not that flexible, but I believe. You will That's be more okay though. You've you lived. A, you're living uh, alone. Like yeah, I don't. But I think I, if if some guy walked in and and he was like, okay, it's time for us to move in, I'd be like, as long as you, I don't have to hose the back do- backyard down. I don't have to give the dogs a bath. I can't. The talk. man I cannot, stuff. I cannot have coffee at night. As long as I don't have to That's do decaf. All the, I know, but I'm like It's the idea of coffee that's yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like, oh my God, I can't okay. even talk See? right. No decaf for you. This right. whole time I've been fumbling over my words. I never fumble over what my words. What are those words. uh sugar pills called? Placebo? Placebo. Yeah, it's like that's oh. like a placebo yeah. for I'm you. I'm like, man. Maybe if it's because you're in the wrong chair. Maybe you know what? Uh, you you know, have thrown me. Fuck? We're not doing this again. You have totally thrown you me can off. Sit next I'm to me. like <laughs> well, when you laugh. actually, yeah. actually, it's it's her fault. <laughs> it is her because fault because she didn't want to sit in the chair that was assigned to her. No, by no. the producer, it's awkward, and so therefore it is, you I gave feel in. Like I see now. You know how I feel. See, it's and I'm gonna say chair. this: I have my grandpa's sisters, and their, yeah, I don't know and my grandpa's it's nieces weird. who watch this show, my aunt Pauline, and all them. And they're going to be like, we're not used to Alina sitting there. We're loose to her being confident and being nice. Try sliding that in there. Now they're going to be like, who's this crazy lost girl? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) See, which is why I tell you consistency matters. It does. (laughs) It does. I'm sitting. That's my chair, Solomon. Don't be giving my chair away anymore. I I had nothing to do with it. Big boobs and all. I don't (laughs) care. That is my chair. What is that? That had nothing. To, you said I could sit here because I saw him and I was like, "Okay, you can have the chair." <laughs> yeah, and, and is that normal? And what just, happens just with for men? Clari- just for clarity, Alina has brought up her boobs eight <laughs> times since she's walked in the door. I'm tonight. never wearing white again. Well, just I'm not, just like, I think I'm jealous. It's not happening. Like, I literally feel like 
Not ever. That's okay, girl. Black. Ever. You're my true person. Every single time you see wait, me, I'm going to be in wait. black. All right, so now you got me. The, and I'm going to say something to you, okay? <laughs> you walked in here looking as proud as you want to be. Ooh, did she? Prada glasses on. Until. Your shirt on, uh-huh. Stomach until, showing. Uh, first of all, Louis Vuitton. I, yeah. I okay, thought you were. Well, what's, what's still. Your name? What's the Marilyn Monroe and the other one that looks like her? Um, She died, though, now. Oh, the she died. The other blonde one. Oh, um, Yeah. She, oh, in her prime, Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah, you walked in like Anna Nicole in her prime. <laughs> you were, I was like, I so, don't think she ever so had you a just prime. Got, my <gasps> point did. is, she you got to bring star. that. She's beautiful. You got to bring that to the stage. I don't know what you get here, and you try to cover it all up and get all shot. I know, <laughs> not because, because the white just made it way worse, <laughs> and I did not. I did not know it was going to make my boobs look that. Maybe big. because the curtains are the same color as your I top. don't know. So I'm maybe it's black all blended next time. in. All right. Well, at least it's going to be a next time. Uh, yeah. After this, we might be canceled. No <laughs> one's going to watch us anymore. Or they are. <laughs> Where's the girl with the tits? <laughs> Put her back on camera. <laughs> oh, that I'm dying of having. Okay, we've had too much fun, and I have to go home because poor grandma's probably like, "Where the hell is she?" <laughs> the, the nurse is probably like, "You were supposed to be home an hour and a half ago." I was like, "I'll be there between seven seven thirty. <laughs> It is dark. <laughs> it is dark outside. Yeah, it's dark outside. But, we're you know, so bad. Okay, the no bar more, next door is just starting to hop. No up. more. <laughs> na- no more night calls. That's it. We're done. All right, Solomon. All right. Wait, you're going to be gone for a week, and we'll miss you. Yes. You you didn't tell people why I'm going to be gone. Where are you going? Tell us. <sighs> Let me see here. There I am. I am driving my 18 year old to her first year of university at oh, UC Berkeley. And so, Berkeley. where's the, where's the, <gasps> oh, you want to cheer? Let me see. Let me pull up my. What is she seat. going to school for? Uh, she's going for landscape architecture. Wow. Yeah. So that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. Wow. But yeah. Berkeley's, a, that's a big deal. Oh, and yeah. That's a huge deal. Yeah. But you're supposed to. Okay, here. But you know my whole family went to Berkeley. No, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. remember she said her brother and everybody? Oh, okay. My whole family went to Berkeley. Mm-hmm. Wow, there did you go? They have a, no, they have a, it was in San Francisco. I had a kid already. Uh, How old were yeah, you when you had your kid? Down here. 18. 18. So yeah. did you just graduate high school? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. And on well, that note, what are you going to say? like subscribe listen watch comment you know all that fun stuff that i forget to say it's on youtube spotify apple podcast why are you looking at me look at the camera oh well because you're the one that does it all i don't know you're i like, don't do that all oh i put it up but no i no, was no. like don't tell me you don't do it all um so yeah it's on all that stuff but the most important thing please in all seriousness is like and subscribe and comment we love the comments oh we do love the comments We do. Thank you very much. (laughs) Until next time. Bye. Bye.